VR Cut Impose is the first of the two components of the VR Cut solution. This is the component that imposes your artwork, merges variable data, or splits variable PDFs into an imposed document that you will print and then cut uh, with the Triumph Cutter with the VR Cut controller component. To begin your job, you will launch the new job button. We're going to be formatting for a Triumph Cutter, and the paper size is 12 by 18, so we can filter down the template list. We are going to be, we can further filter it by selecting 5 by 7. We can see that there are two templates for 5 by 7 on 12 by 18 paper, and we want to choose the duplex template in that we have both a front and back that we need to impose onto a duplex sheet. The next menu uh, allows you to name the job. You can see the name begins with the template number. This makes it easier for us to find our artwork when we're working with the VR Cut controller component. We also can select some options, uh, and one of the options we'd like to select is the bleed edge. The default is 0.125 as our artwork indicates, uh, but you can of course change your bleed edge should you have different size artwork. When you select finish, you will get your design page. Next, we're going to import the image file. It automatically opens up the folder we were viewing at the beginning of the demo, and we want to go ahead and select the revolutionary redefined 5x7 postcard. It will ask us if we would like to split the pages of the document front to back, and yes, we do would like to do that, so that the front of the postcard is page one, and the back of the postcard is page two. We can preview how that's going to impose on the sheet by selecting the preview and position button. And you'll notice that it will create a barcode that we'll, uh, we'll use in the, uh, to bring up the appropriate template at the cutter. You also can uh, look at the crop mark options. Some folks like to show crop marks on the back side of the sheet. You can simply click the button here. You have options to change the color of the crop marks, the thickness, customize the offset edge. So quite a few options here if you'd like to adjust the way in which the crop marks work. Now we're ready once we are happy with our all of our options, and there are many more, but this will make for a simple demo. We'll just uh, click the Create PDF button. If you have the option to view the PDF, then uh, that's a great one to select. It makes it a lot easier uh, to view. Um, it'll automatically launch your Adobe product. If that's grayed out, that just means you don't have an Adobe uh, viewer installed on your system. You can otherwise just view by opening up your My Documents VR Cut Impose output folder, and you'll find your output located there. We go ahead and save this file and it auto opens the Adobe Acrobat program. You can see the layout uh, front and back, and you can also uh, see some of the uh, key uh, uh, numbers here. These are actually the cut sequence numbers that will assure your paper is turned correctly and you're cutting correctly at the cutter. Once we print this document, we're ready to cut, and we'll see that in the next video.